So if you want to be able to make really stylish titles that look something like this, I'm going to show you how to do that within just a few minutes without drawing any shapes and mats and without any keyframing. It's really simple to do. And that's because there's a brand new tool called the depth map. Now this is brand new in version 18. It's still in beta, obviously. It is also part of the studio pack. So you need the studio license in order to activate it because it's using the DaVinci Neural Engine, which is like the AI stuff. And you'll see why this is a smart tool. So to get this character to be blocked out of the text, we're gonna use the depth map. So this is here just because I've pre-rendered it. This effect is quite slow, but I'm gonna show you how to build it anyway. So here is the original video clip. It's just on video layer one. And it's just a gymnast. Now I've chosen something that has got a lot of movement in it. And traditionally we would have had to draw around this character and keyframe every single frame in order to separate that text from the background. But I'm gonna show you how to do it with a depth map. So we've got a video layer one. Video layer two is gonna be our text. Okay, so let's put our text on there. I'm gonna use a, just a basic text for now. Okay, I'm gonna sit that on top. I'm just gonna bring it up in size a little bit. Okay, and as you see, that's just sitting on top as it would normally but we're gonna create a third video layer. And this is gonna be our foreground. So this layer, video one, is gonna be our background. I'm gonna press Option and drag the video up, which will make a duplicate of it. And that's gonna sit on video layer three. Now, how do we get to see our text? Now, obviously I can't see the text now because this video layer three, it has priority over video layer two, so I can't see anything. So if I drew a matte shape around this character, we would reveal the text and the background below, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use the depth map. So if I go to my effects and come down here, there's a new feature in version 18 called depth map. If I can find it, there it is. I'm gonna drag and drop that onto my foreground. Now this effect is quite slow, all right? I'm not gonna lie. Um, so in order to activate it, go up to your inspector here. If your inspector's not open, just click here. Go to effects and there's the depth map. And it defaults to better quality. Now, if we switch that to faster, it drops the quality resolution just slightly and allows us to set up the depth map a little bit quicker. Now, how this works is uh, anything black will reveal uh, any video layers below and anything white will stay as foreground. So watch what happens when I take off the depth map preview now. There we can see our text, okay? And we can see our character, but he's only sort of half mixed between the letters. He's not actually covering the letters. And that's because in our depth map, we haven't got a solid white yet. So in order to get him completely covering the text, this map preview needs to be white. So how do we do that? I've put it into faster just so the controls behave a little bit quicker. Then I'm gonna go to adjust map levels. And we've got our far limit and near limit. So what the depth map is doing is intelligently analyzing the video footage and working out what's in the foreground and what's in the background. And it's drawing this scale. So white would be foreground, back would be our background, uh, or you can invert that. So I'm gonna bring my near limit forward. I'm gonna bring that down and you can see that slowly starts to get white in there. So the more white it is, the more solid the character is gonna be or the object or whatever you want to work with and I'm gonna take my file limit, I'm just gonna push that out a bit. So we've got a much better image going on now. So if I take my depth map preview off, you can see now he's starting to cover the letters, but we've still got a little bit of opacity in there. So we still need to do a bit more work. So let's put the map preview back on. Let's just look at our near limits, so we can get that a bit tighter. And what I'm gonna do is use the isolation tool down here now to just, that is gonna clean this up a little bit. So what we can do now is bring our depth forward, and there we go. And that is much better. Let's just put a little bit of softness on that. And you can go to the finesse here and that will do it even finer. So you can start looking at hair detail and all that stuff, but it's gonna slow it right down at the minute. So this is gonna be fine for us. So let's take that off. And now you can see he's completely covering the text. So if I just play that through, it's gonna be a little bit slow, but there we go. We've got our character completely covering the text and we haven't had to draw a shape or draw any mats or anything like that. This is really quick and easy way of doing this. This would take hours to do this manually by hand. Okay, what I'm gonna do is go beyond that because in my version, what I showed you was quite a stylish bit of text. And these texts, this is a preset that comes from a company called Motion VFX and they've got a whole load of preset titles that work with DaVinci Resolve. And I've been using them for the last few months and they are fantastic. So I'm gonna show you an example of just how quick you can get an animated text in without even having to do any keyframing yourself. I've got the one installed here, it's called um, Hype. So it's M-Title Hype. And 
it comes with all these presets here and you can actually even preview them just by hovering your mouse over them okay and the one I used is this one which is defaults to say pursue your dreams obviously you can change the text to be whatever you want so as I click on that there's our update there's our character going over it I'm just gonna make it a little bit bigger so again if I just click on the title the inspector allows me to make adjustments click in here let's just change the scale and there is a link in the description for a discount code on these M title uh, titles. They are fantastic. They're basically accessing Fusion, so they're really customizable. So there's my scale on that one. Let's adjust each individual title. So I've got the word your there. It's quite small, so I can go down to your. I can change the font. I can change the color. A little bit slow to behave because I've got, obviously, the depth map sitting on top of it. But you can see there I can adjust the scaling and the positioning and all that sort of stuff. So it literally is just moving it around. It, I'm no compositor and this is really simple, really simple for me to do. So I'm gonna drag that back. Let's have a quick preview. You can see the red line at the top, I've got my caching on. So in order to do that, if you go up to here and go to render cache, I've got mine onto user. So it knows that I want to do it. You can put it onto smart so it recognizes when it needs to and you can of course switch it off. Okay, so let's just play that through. So when it goes blue, it means it's cached. I'm on an older Mac here because this is a beta version, so I'm running it on my old Mac trash can. I'm not on my Mac Pro 2019, so it's a little bit slower to behave, but that gives us a pretty fair representation of what's going on. So we've built this really cool effect very quickly. There's a little bit of this hand coming through still there, so all we've got to do is click back here. Let's go back to our effects, and we're just going to adjust our depth map for a little bit more, and then you can see it's not quite white there. So let's just push it forward a little bit more. Oops, sorry, I've gone the wrong way. Okay, and there we go. Something like that. Okay, now before I switch it off, I'm going to go to better, which is going to give us much better quality. And then all you've got to do is render that out. So it's a really quick and easy way of building up these really stylish background texts um, with your foreground still in the foreground without creating any mats or anything at all. So let's have a look at the finished thing. That is a great looking title sequence built in just a few minutes without any compositing knowledge at all. If you've enjoyed this, have a look at some of the other stuff on my channel. YouTube's going to recommend something for you here. Look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode. Lou, hi darling, I'm just recording for YouTube. How much do you need? Okay, I'll send it right now.